two partners, industry partners, which is First Word Records, who are Peckham based um, record label uh, specializing kind of jazz, hip hop, house and the kind of common ground between and Earth Music Agency, which is a booking agency, I think is the largest independent booking agency in, in Europe. I think they have like big acts like Skepta. Um, and JME, um, but they also and, and AJ Tracy and things like that, but also very much about kind of fostering grassroots talent. So all of the artists um, who are showcasing, who, all of the artists in residence um, are represented by Earth Agency, um, thing apart from Shirley Tete, uh, and several of them have uh, um, played at Campbell Affair as well. So they really know what it's all about in terms of having really been there and lived it. So um, the idea, as you know, is that. Um, they will choose three of you each to work with over the summer. So it'll be three mentoring sessions, um, which they will each choose um, at the end of this, which three artists they want to work with. So it's going to be a very kind of personal, quite informal type of thing um, in terms of uh, working together to create new work. Um, right, that was quite a lot of words that just came out of my mouth in quite a short space of time. So um, I'm going to pass back to Tash, who I think is going to introduce the artists in residence themselves before we start with the actual competition. Yes, indeed, I am. So the, um, the artists in residence are absolutely incredible, and it would honestly be an honour to be tutored and mentored by all of them. Uh, so we've got South London artist Tawia, who is a pioneer in the world of alt soul and is known as one of the UK's finest singer-songwriters at the moment. Uh, Tawia has performed live with collaborations with Cinematic Orchestra, Blood Orange, Mark Ronson, Kindness, Thilo, Wiley, just ridiculous names in music. Um, over the last decade, Tawia self-released her award-winning EP, and in 2019, her debut album, Starts Again, also came out with Peck and Bass label that we've got on board with us, First Word Records. Um, am I showing a video now, uh, Dre, or showing that later? Later. It's cool. Um, but uh, maybe Tawia wants to just say a word before you move on to the... Oh, yeah, please do. Hello, Tawia. Welcome. Take the floor. Hello, just want to say Hi. what's up to everybody. Um, really looking forward to hearing you do your thing and just have fun, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked, most definitely. Thank you, Tawia. Uh, and next up, we have got a guy whose energy knows absolutely no bounds, a multi-instrumentalist and Afrofusion pioneer, Kweku Saki, a.k.a. K.O.G., Kweku of Ghana. He's the front man of Afropunk, Afrofunk outfit, K.O.G., and the Zongo Brigade and acclaimed on and the acclaimed Onipa project with Nubian Twists, Tom XL, both of my absolute favorite bands. And I'm so happy that KOG is on board. Where are you, Kweku? You about? Is he here? We've not got KOG inside yet. Maybe not yet. Okay. Well, either way, KOG is an absolute don. And if you ever do see uh, Onip Alive and also with an all, all KOG, uh, they're both absolutely wicked. Um, and next up, we've got guitarist Shirley Tete, who began her journey into jazz with Tomorrow's Warriors and was Jazz FM Awards nominee for Breakthrough Act of the Year. Uh, Shirley has publishing and record deals with Lucky Number Music and explores ways of combining jazz and left field pop while forging ahead with bands Norija and Maisha, who present high quality original improvised music to a younger, wider audience. Is Shirley about? Hi, yes, I am. Um, yes, you I, are. My video is yeah, not on at the moment. No worries. Uh, no worries. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh, at, pleasure to be here and, and looking forward to seeing everyone warm. And uh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Thank you, Shirley. Sweet. Thank you, Shirley. I'm echoing a little bit, it doesn't sound too bad. Such a great, great combination of um, wicked instrumentalists and artists on here. Uh, and last but definitely not least, we have got Gaika Tavares, better known simply as Gaika. He is a British artist and writer for Brixton. His debut album, Basic Volume, was released in July 2018 by the acclaimed Warp Records. We describe his sound as gothic dancehall and industrial electronics. And I'm a big, big fan of Gaika and again, an artist who I'm very excited to have on board in the residence. Gaika, you about? Yeah, I'm here. Hello, I hello. Here. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right. I'm alive. That's the main thing. So, um, yeah, I'm good. How are you feeling about uh, being a part of this? I'm excited. I'm really interested to uh, to see and hear, experience um, 
what everybody comes with. I think, you know, um, I've grown up around South London, Brixton, and uh, so it kind of means a lot to me to kind of be involved in developing or helping to develop new music. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, well, we're excited to have you on board. Thank you, Daika. And I think that is all about artists in residence. So we've got an incredible selection. Actually, Koji's just uh, jumped in, I think. Oh, Koji, say hello. Saw him just, yeah, here he is. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Nice to meet see you again. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. I know. Thank you, guys, man. How are you? Good, 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 good. Yeah, very, very excited to see everyone's performances tonight. Um, how yeah. are you feeling about being a mentor? Oh, I'm, I'm quite excited. It's my first time, so I'm really, like, buzzing. I'm, I was having some internet problems, but now it's kind of straightened up. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for the show. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> We love it. And as I said, KOG's energy honestly knows no bounds. So he would, I could imagine being an incredible mentor. Thank you very much. Kwaku. Okay, yeah. cool. Andre, how are we feeling? Are we ready to get into our performances? Sorry, I'm muted. Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. Um, so should I just recap the what's going to happen? Uh, well, you can do that, Tash, can't you? Yeah, of course I can. So what we are going to do, I'll run through our plan for tonight. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through our part one of our artists for the next 45 minutes or so. So we've got some artist videos that we're going to watch, some snippets from all of our, all of you guys. And then at the end, we are going to have, we're going to have a little bit of a break in between from 8.05-ish to 8.15 for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to run into part two with our second chunk of artists and listen to some more snippets and videos. And then we're going to take it over over to our artists in residence and watch some of their videos and while they make their decisions along with Andre as well and then we'll come back for 9.20 and between 9.20 and 9.30 we're going to make our decisions uh, but right now it's time for the fun stuff we're going to get straight into the music um, so we're going to kick off with our part one with the sounds of Bad Honey who represents a dreamy combination of pure vocals synths and bouncy beats creating a delicate but dance worthy lo-fi sound and we like to say that bad honey sounds like a jar of honey traveling through space. Very smooth. All right, let's get into it. Kicking off with bad honey. I'm sharing from my end, aren't I? Yeah. Cool. Ooh. So just to recap, Tash, uh, the idea is that everyone would say their bit for like up to a minute and then we'll watch well, that I video. Thought I, was, <laughs> I thought I was doing that. <laughs> yeah, let's jump ahead and just stealing all the limelight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bad no, it's a great intro, but um, but just to <laughs> a bit more about like what, why you want to yeah, be on the Of program. course, of course, of course. Please, please do uh, take the stage and introduce yourself. <laughs> Thank you. That was really nice. I don't, I feel like we can't better that intro, um, but... Yeah, I'm half of Bad Honey, Lydia. Um, and we make alternative pop music. Um, we've released three EPs so far. Um, last year, we received funding from PRS, Women Make Music, to make our most recent EP, which was really exciting. Um, and that also made uh, Jam's Supernova's top five, which was great. Um, and over the last year, we obviously haven't been able to gig, so we've been working on an EP, which we're releasing this summer. Um, but before that, we did some cool gigs like uh, Love Supreme Festival, uh, Brainchild, Cheltenham Jazz Festival, and played some cool venues across London, like the Roundhouse and Village Underground. So hopefully, once things pick up again, we can kind of continue on that journey, which is quite cool. Hello, I'm the second half of Bad Honey. Um, and we applied for this for two reasons, mainly. So the first reason um, is that we are completely independent and unmanaged. So it would be really great to have the support and expertise and experience of someone who can navigate the industry and can help us navigate the industry. Um, we obviously want to get to the point where we can make a living out of our music and kind of develop a dedicated fan base. So it would be great to have someone to help us with that. Um, and then the second reason is um, obviously networking because we love collaborating with artists. Um, all of our music comes from collaboration. 
Um, so yeah, it would be great to write and produce and just make something together with new people. It sounds very exciting. Cool. Really excited to get into it. Let's do it. This is that. Uh, Dre? Yeah, um, Ranj, can you set me so that I can screen share, please? Oh, I thought I was screen sharing. You screen sharing. Uh, oh, good. Cool. Okay, I'll let you go. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it later. I think you're doing the end, but yeah, yeah. Cool. Technicals. It's like being at a festival, basically, tonight. We've got, like, how many, like, 20... The three artists we got tonight. Sorry, um, Ranj, can you make me host for a second? I'm not getting the option to optimize the video for some reason. It might be because I'm not host. You guys all good? Just doing it. Just okay, cool. All good. Hopefully, technical hitches sorted. Technical hitches happen. They happen. Even after using Zoom for eighteen months. Yeah, it's very strange. There's an option that was there when we tested it, which isn't there now. But I'm going to try it, and if the sound quality is really rubbish, let me know. And I'm um... all right. Cool. Okay, let's go. Sitting on the floor, elbows on the table, looking eye to eye, hazel on hazel. We're playing the game you taught me to play. I could sit with you until my hair's gone grey. I've a secret though, I'm wiggling.
Excellent. Everyone's made some noise for bad honey. That was wicked. You were so nicely in sync. Wow, that was wicked. Some like lovely bit of synth pop dreaminess. That was excellent. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. No, you're more than welcome. All right, moving on next, we have got the sounds of AZ, sounds of jazz, Afrobeats, drill, and hip hop meets lo fi. AZ, you in the house? Tash, I'm not sure that's the right order, actually. Really? I've, I've got it as being Winnie next. Oh, sorry. I was looking at part two. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, so next up, sorry, I take it back. Thank you very much, Bad Honey. And next up, we have got soul, jazz, electronica, and funk vibes from Winnie. Winnie, are you in the house? Hi, everyone. Hello, sorry. I've had my video off because my niece is around, so she might run in here at any point. No but yeah, my name is Winnie. Um, I'm a producer and artist based in London, and our main instruments is vocals and guitar. I've been producing electronic, jazz music, and soul music. Um, which has led me to produce a group of songs that I'd like to release. Um, I feel like this programme will help me network with other like-minded artists, but also give me a chance to like release proper music because I feel like I've been in this weird in-between where um, like I've headlined like Ronnie, Ronnie Scott's Downstairs and I was meant to have um, my headline show at Roundhouse last year, March, but that was cancelled due to COVID. So yeah, it would be great to like get back on the process of releasing music and growing my audience. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you very much, Winnie. Uh, let's get into it. So the sounds of Winnie. Destiny to set you free. 
Is this my destiny lying here with me? I'm giving the best of mine. Can't you see? I've got more love to share. Maybe we should stay right here. Absolutely did that cover justice. I'm a big Tiana Major 9 fan as well. Thank you, Winnie. Absolutely beautiful. Hope everybody's, everyone doing all right so far? Everyone enjoying themselves? <laughs> okay, good, right. Now it is time for some Afro beats. We are heading over to the sounds of Ugun. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry if I didn't. Is Ugun in the house? Yes, Egon is here. The sounds of Egon, the Afro priest. Hey, Hello, hey. guys. How are you guys doing? Good. Hello, Tash. Can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Can, can everyone else hear you? Can everyone hear me? Yeah, my name is Egon. Yeah. All right, cool. My name is Egon. I'm originally from Nigeria. I've been living in London for over 13 years. Uh, amazing music in London. I was in a band called Bronze at the beginning of my career in the UK. Then about 2014, 2015, I left the band. I was a frontman for the band. I'm a singer, songwriter, a music practitioner as well. So I've been making my own music at home, working with different producers all around the world, in Nigeria, in America, and here in England as well. So I've been putting up our music together. I did an EP in 2019 called The Festival. And I have a current, I'm currently working on a new album titled The Return of the Afro Priest. And I think this program will be perfect for me because uh, after post-COVID, the old entertainment industry was hit big and everyone is trying to get back on their feet. And all that period I've been really working, trying to put different songs together, working with different producers in the UK and in Nigeria as well. So I think this, being on this program is gonna be a good chance for me to show what I've been doing, show my skills, show what I've been doing since after my first um, appearance in the UK with Bronzehead. And I want to show the sounds of Ego and the Afro Priest because I really have something special. My sound is a fusion of Afro beats Hip hop, R&B, pop, reggae, and a lot of other things. So I really hope this would be a good chance for me to tell the world the return of the Afro Priest is a great project. I hope to tour Nigeria as well. I hope to tour the UK, and I hope to be at the Canberra World Fair as well to see you guys in person and make more friends. So I think this program is perfect for me because uh, having a mentor, someone with more experience, so has more connection in the industry, will work very well for me in terms of networking getting the right people to listen to your sound because the entertainment industry is really crowded these days and you really need the right guidance to find the right path. So I hope this will be a good chance for me to show what I've been doing to the whole world. I hope so. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Aegon from Lagos to Campbell Welfare. Uh, let's get into it. This is the sounds of Aegon. Now some boy from the sound of that back again Nobody sing a love song like it mm -hmm. If I want to Boom Ota, 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 ota Ota, 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 ota Ota, 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 ota Ota, ota, Let me give you my world On a platter of gold When I needed you most You were nothing to hold Something to your mind, but you're deeply enclosed. Thought I've been played, I swear I'm no fool. Feeling curious, not searching for clues. And I caught you with him, you were born with no clothes. Oh, 
Hello, oh, by she Raymond, my baby, more to hello, oh, by she Raymond. Whoa, a little bit of drama right there. I love it. <laughs> Sounds you. of Agun, everyone. Thank you. That just got me ready for some sunshine. So hopefully that just willed some sunshine in. Thank you again, Agun. Absolutely. Pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, right, moving on now to some more Afrobeats with the vibes of T. Peters. T, are you around? Hi, yeah. Um, hey. so I'm T. Okay. Peters. Oh, yo, I'm T. Peters. I'm from Peckham and I make chill, jazzy, conscious hip-hop music. I have a project called Worker Season, this message where every year I release new music monthly as like a soundtrack for my fans and my listeners because I believe that there should be a time in our lives where we kind of cut out all our distractions and really just get to work on ourselves and our relationship with our, our being. Do you know what I mean? My story so far, I've had the number one listed song on Spotify's Conscious Hip Hop Music Playlist. O2's funded me to make a show about mental health. I performed for the Mayor of London, raised money for children in Yemen, all while getting my degree in English and all in lockdown. Um, the reason I want to do this is because I just want to improve my voice, man. I want to be the best performer vocalist, rapper, I want to learn to sing, just really use my voice properly. And I've seen people like Tari or Ngaika perform, they're best, they're elite. And I just feel like I'd love to get that help from them, that mentorship. And yeah, so if you want to see a young, thoughtful, multi-skilled person kind of find some success, I'm your guy. And my, I guess my last point, just on what Andre said earlier on today about, you know, Camberwell changing, you know, I, I guess I grew up here in the Peckham Camberwell constituency and I spent a lot of time writing about the change and like paying homage to people like Stephen Lawrence and all these different young people that's kind of taken a lot of their lives willingly or not. Um, wow, I got to see Peckham kind of elevate and be its best. So you're going to see that a song, the next song, you, this my song you're going to hear it's going to be about that. And I'd love to perform it at Campbell. It'll be my first show in my own area. And I'd love to perform that particular tune. And just like, yeah, I think that's what I really want. Just that mentorship. I start to perform, do the best. And yeah, and just, yeah, that's what I've got to say to you, really. There's not much more to it. So in other words, too, there's nothing that you can't do, basically. <laughs> nothing that I can't do without, without some help as well. <laughs> I love that confidence. Right, let's get into it. This one's T. Peters with Southside. Thank you, T. Hey, baby. And Southside raised me. And Southside's got my back. Your mouth don't face me. Learn that. Let's learn that. Southside called the popo, where Steve couldn't breathe. It weren't South kids that kicked in his teeth and let brown skin blood go leak in the streets. I want brown skin love to be the app of a pet. Gentrification, please reduce me your sentence. Don't raise our prices, live is harder than ever. And I'll be honest, I don't mind the cafes. It's a good place to date, a good place for babe. But you say, please don't move my barber away. They taking the black cleaner tartar away. They raising my flats, they don't want us to stay. They don't want us to stay. I'm a Southside baby. Southside face me. Southside got my back, your mouth don't face me. Southside's crazy, love my Southside ladies. When I have a wife, I want a Southside baby. I'm a Southside baby. Southside face me. Southside got my back, your mouth don't face me. Southside's crazy, love my Southside ladies. When I have a wife, I want a Southside baby. Oh, I'm in that energy town, I fucking love you. Yo, look. Yo, we're linking up in Pepper's space. She loves the way I love to chase. She loves how I say hi to every person that goes by. She loves the way my guys is me more than Mr. I. But most of all, she loves the fear of crime. I think she's got me fetishized. And I think she's for the better guys. She assumes I can't be knives and I'm recognized. But I ain't famous yet. I ain't for better men and better beats. And the street has got me sick and better feet. Southside, baby. Baby. 
face me. South side got my back, your mouth don't face me. South side's crazy, love my south side ladies. When I have a wife, I want a south side baby. I'm a south side baby. South side crazy. South side got my back, your mouth don't face me. South side's crazy, love my south side ladies. When I have a wife, I want a south side baby. Tell me that my kiss is not as real as what you've got. Tell me that you're popping in the club and at home. That you feel alone and I don't do it for you. You hear me in my chest, but it's my heart that falls. Don't ask me where my trauma was. I trust you not all my love. I don't pass away, you all my love. What is love for a person who don't love themselves? Even when I hurt, I still yearn for this feeling. I still yearn for this feeling. Ah, uh, cheer up. We ain't got a broken home, we got plenty things And let's question ain't the one, let's stop With the tears that time heals slowly And get up, keep running like Look, cheer up, we ain't got a broken home We got plenty things And let's question ain't the one, let's stop With the tears that time heals slowly And get up, keep running like uh. Dance if you fuck with me The stigma's being half of me I've been scarred and they laugh at me like what did they expect? I ain't got a laugh, my brother, I am the Dance if you fuck with me The stick bars beating half of me I've been scarred and they laugh at me Like what do they expect? I ain't got a laugh, my brother, I am depressed Wow, very powerful team Woo! So much energy, so much vim Beautiful Thank you, so that much. Was Thank you so much. All right. Uh, I'm moving on now to the sounds of alternative R&B from Kayla. We've got Kayla in the house. We've got Kayla up next. Yeah, Kayla Shay. Not got Kayla. Maybe not yet. Okay. Should we get into it, Dre? I think if Kayla's not here, then um, we can maybe come back to her later. Back, in case she maybe yeah. turns up. Otherwise, I think we just disqualify her. Um, okay, sweet. All right, we'll give Kayla a sec then. Let's move it on then to the sounds of UK jazz from Lewis Daniel. Is Lewis in the place? Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay. great glasses. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm a saxophonist. Um, yeah, I'm a saxophonist and composer from South London, um, and I, I'm I work across many different genres. Um, most of the portion of my work has been as a session musician. So I've worked with Rachel Kerr, House Gospel Choir, um, Tom Grennan, and it's been a mixture of playing and writing and arranging for these groups as well. So it really inspired me to think, wow, I'm in the process of writing some other, um, other artists' songs, so why don't I try my own um, thing? So I, at the end of uh, 2019, I decided to write my own song. So it, it it got released in April and it's called States of Being and it's a concept EP and it fuses jazz with different styles of music like trap, garage, um, and it's just, it's a little bit alternative, me on the, basically me on the plate, everything I like. Um, it uh, has been played on BBC Introducing and the Robert Elm Show and Jazz FM so far. Um, I really want to be on, on this programme because I think it's a great way to now explore the next steps and having a mentor will help me get get the next steps and create new music and um and, and just network with different artists would be great um yeah wicked i really feel for all of you guys haven't been able to perform in the last year it must be must have been tough um but fingers crossed moving forward we can start having some live music again because I would love to see all you guys live. All right, now it's the sounds of Lewis Daniel. Thank you. 
Yes, energy. Sounds of Lewis Daniel. Uh, out to everybody being in the group chat in the chat as well. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Can never ever get enough of the sound of the steel drum. It's one of my favorite sounds on the whole planet. Thank you, Lewis. So much soul. Absolutely beautiful. All right, moving on now to the sounds of a day. Hip hop, soul, jazz, and funk in the mix. Is a day about? Yeah, I'm about. Hey. Hi. How are you going? Um, not too bad. Uh, thank you. Um, hope everyone's good. Um, thank you for having me here. Um, it's all very exciting. Um, my name's a day, like a night. Um, or I did I'm alive, you can say it like that. Um, I'm a poet and performer by nature. Um, but I didn't write my first song until I was about 25. And um, only really recently realized that my dreams and fancies were worth pursuing. Um, so I consider myself to be a, a good writer and a good performer, but I applied to this mentorship scheme because um, I think as much gusto as I'm trying to lead with, it would be great to get some guidance. Um, some things I'm hoping to get support around are um, sort of just vocal techniques and um, performing and projecting and working a stage. And then also um, guidance around, I, I really love the, the sound of live instruments, um, but coordinating live instruments as, as a front performer when you're working a stage as well. These, these are some things I'm really interested in um, getting support around. Um, but yeah, I'm in a band called Waste Women. And we released our EP last October and uh, the February before that, we released um, our first single, which was actually uh, synced to um, Zoe Kravitz's show, High, um, High Fidelity. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm just looking to improve my craft. Um, I think I deserve to explore my talent and I would like to keep it playful forever and just learn this language for myself. So I hope you enjoy. Huge. Thank you, Ade. I've been very much enjoying uh, the videos from Waste Women as well. I'm excited for you to share with us. Give it up for a day. And if my brief is going to be good. Oh no, it's going to be on tape now. Let's Fuck. see. We'll try it. It'll be like... <laughs> I just want to be somewhere I can dare to dream, somewhere that I can live free, somewhere I can feel and think about all of the possibilities. I just want to be in a space where I can breathe, where I can feel light and free. Somewhere I can smile and laugh, no fear or worry about society I just want to be, live and breathe and see I just want to chill Wouldn't it be cool, not to have to worry about chilling at a pool I just want to be, live and breathe and see I just want to chill wouldn't it be lovely if you could please not punch me? Wouldn't it be nice if I could just get help at night and know that knocking on the door wasn't cause for shots fired if a broken tail wouldn't cost me my life if I spoke my mother tongue without embarrassing my mum I'd like to do ballet for dad and know that he'll still love me back but he's not here anymore so I guess that's just that is it too much to ask for just a little bit of happiness without the patches bursting at the seams I just want to be 
Some I can dare to dream Somewhere I can live free Somewhere I can feel and think about all of the possibilities I just want to be In a space where I can breathe Where I can feel light and free Somewhere I can smile and laugh, no fear, no worry about society I just want to be a joy that I can get with me A joy can get walk all over the fairy room Come on, talk with your beer in A joy can move around, be more safe Kill up on anybody there Alone what is to me Alone what is to me I, I just want to be I just want to be I just want to be Somewhere I can dare to dream Somewhere I can dare to dream Where I can feel light and free Where I can feel light and free Somewhere I can smile and laugh, no fear, no worry about society. Sarah, Eric, Sandra, Trey, we watch the same shit day after day after day. Cynthia, Bertha, Cherry, too, we watch the same shit day after day after day. I need you to say her name. We can't watch the same shit day after day after day. I need you to say her name. We won't watch the same shit day after day after. Hey. Oh, that was so encapsulating. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, thank you, Ade. I love that. I uh, love the playfulness as well and being in a kid's playground in the black and white. That was stunning. Thank you. A day. Wonderful. All right. Moving on now. I hope everyone's still doing good. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying myself. Uh, moving on next to some hip hop and rap vibes from Fun Dizzle. Are you about Fun Dizzle? Hello. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Hi. How's everyone doing? It's a good show so far. Thank you for putting me to make this a part of it. I'm happy. My name's Fun Dizzle. I produce, I rap, I um, engineer. Um, 2019, I won Undiscovered Talent, uh, unique, best unique rapper. So I kind of just want to elevate and push that, you know what I mean? Bring some fun in rap and back on the radio and stuff. Um, I've also been on a mixtape called Woo Invasion, which was by Jizza and his DJ called DJ Symphony. I was also on an artist um, tape called Shaking the Block. That's by Jada Kiss. Um, so it was nice. I got to talk to those legends and they put me on some nice games. So yeah, I'm just here to push that sound. And I would love to be um, mentored because basically it would just help me put this energy, what I need to do to elevate and yeah, do some greatness. And I love collaborations because working with anyone is just a whole different sound. So I'm very adaptive and I like every single type of genre you can um, you can mention. Give it to me and I'm gonna try and spin it and do my best. I don't have any boundaries. So let's get into it. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. That's the approach we like, open-mindedness all the way. Yes. Definitely. Thank Wicked. Thank you, Sun Dizzle. Uh, say your tunes. balcony with a zoo that was made from alchemy the stars is what i came out to see some move and some shine happily remind me of humans actually some ball and some live casually you got a bent and can't afford it i rate a man in a ford and live it gorgeous so one time if you pay all your bills uh -huh. one time if you're keeping it real one time if you swerved an abusive relationship put your hands on women i don't play that one time for the men that hold down a household uh, Cooking up the food like gaucho Man's got a free little mouth, yo That's what it's about I'm proud to contribute on this earth with words and verbs Word to the bird, you ain't gotta take no drink We need you, you don't need men You're the one that broke 
then evolve them to God like beings We don't treat them like that, shoulda know where a man is this evening One time for you if you ain't cheating One time if you wanna I might die One time if I cut you off One time cause one time you weren't enough Your energy's off mine, is filled with love Love, I'm still picking you up when really I shoulda give to I learned from my lessons, yo, and you can never take me for a peasant, yeah. bro. So one, one time, you never stay basic. One time, you work in the great shit. One time, you're still underrated. One time, cause I can relate. One time, out here living your best life. One time, for the poor trying to get right. One time, for the one to the next life. One time, we'll meet again. One time, for the unwell get better soon. One time, for the miners achieving at school. One time, for the teachers too. One time, you don't strap to one time. Out here hustling. One time, you got happy customers. One time, for the self-employed. One time, one time, one time. They say cash, but we made the world go round. And this is my shout out. Imagine no one working a nine to five that we all hate. Economy with the flake. No one delivering packages. No one to lock up the savages. A place with no beds, bro. Could you handle it? The birds would have a man panicking. It's not even our landing. It's you that I'm thanking for holding it down. When the paycheck's lousy, customers rowdy, thinking this life don't give about me. One time for the NHS held us down through the whole pandemic, risking their lives. Flip it how you want. It should be them that are panicking. One time for Nan used to call her mum She's smiling down saying that's my grandson Your death was a win to the gut but I stand strong Money on my mind but these memories I bank on Glad I was around more, this feels like an outpour One time you buried your kids or your parents That pain's way too scary We all got a part to play in these darker days Spark the flame and reunite again This life you gotta fight to win One time again We all got a part to play in these darker days Spark the flame and reunite again this life you gotta fight to win till the time this ends One time, all the survivors One time, you're out here providing One time, you risk your life All the one time, for mankind One time, to the ones that give back One time, to the ones that pay you back One time, you squash the be One time, you didn't get paid back One time, the ones that believe in you One time, if nothing's unachievable One time, I couldn't even see the truth One time, for me in the proof One time, all of the growth folks one time to the next generation. One time you stand for something. One time you can't be separated. One time for everyone. One time. One time. Beautifully uplifting, relatable, positive messages in there. And yeah, uh, Ade says, love the family vibes. I do as well. Thank you, Fun Dizzle. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're more than welcome. All right, guys. And moving on, we're getting towards the end of our part one now, but we've still got some wicked performances to come. And uh, next up, it is the sounds of Nina Gabriella, Latin and folk meets rap. Nina. Hello. Nice to meet you all. It's really lovely. Um, my name is Nina Gabriela. I was born in Venezuela, raised in Peru. Since a young age, I've been constantly performing, writing and singing. But like any other person, I always wanted to fit in. Unfortunately, I don't look like the Latina stereotype. And I shy away and tried not to get attention when I was young. Um, and I also found myself frustrated by the lack of opportunities for me as a white Latina. And coming to the UK has empowered me to step out of my comfort zone. I'm continuously challenging, my, challenging myself. I love trying and keep trying different styles of rap. I am singing folk and I'm writing lots of lyrics. I've performed live in London, Zanzibar as well. Being part of the program would mean a step forward in my career. I'll be able to represent the Latin community, yes, and challenge stereotypes. I am passionate and professional. I feel ready to share, explore and have fun. Coming out of the pandemic, I believe that live music is going to heal us all. 
นาดใจอยู่ไม่ใช่เลยไม่ใช่เลยโอ้ยเจ้าหนูไปสมัครงานสุดท้ายของชีวิตฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉันไม่รู้เลยฉ
twenty. Eight minutes now from now. Is that all right? Eight. Is that right with everyone? Eight twenty ish. Cool. Not it. Okay. 8.20. 8.20. 8, 8, 8, 8, 20. That's me being me and my bad timing saying it. Okay. 8.20. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Bye. Might actually play a, play a tune while we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, give them some tunes. For everybody. In fact, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll play the videos that um, weren't where the two people didn't turn up. Are we going to count them in then? No, but I'm just going to play them anyway during the break for anyone who's watching on YouTube um, rather than just okay, yeah, go for nothing it. Nothing happening on a Zoom. For, for I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, by the way, hi to everyone um, who's tuning in on YouTube. Um, we can't hear you, but we but we, we know you're there. So thank hi. you very much for coming, coming in. Hope you guys having a good evening.
That was Lavender and Joe Hill. I just want to dance. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to play one more, which is Kayla Shea with a Wretch 32 cover. And at the end of this tune, we will resume the main transmission. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a very long time since I've actually made a video. It's been about three months. I don't know, time just flies in it. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to do a cover of one of my favourite songs, which is Wretch Free Two's DMO. Um, I freestyled on it. So could you like, like and subscribe and yeah. Thank you. Oh yes, this really be life on the road Trying to build a house and make it a home Trying to build myself and find other reasons I know my mood changes with the seasons I said it, yeah I said it Is it real, is it fake, should I dare do it? When I look in your eyes, baby I forget it All the pain I felt, yeah I can't bear it Yeah I was hurt I've said it all before All the time playing on my bathroom floor Late night times when I'm crying all my tears out Bet this one guy and he had me get my fears out Yeah, I said it, I don't regret it All those fake friendships just had to get deaded Don't be offended, baby, you're intended You're just another follower, just a shepherd, yeah Oh da 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 Everyone has everyone got the bits? Got the tea? I feel like we've lost most people. Come on, uh, everyone's here. Give them like one more minute, one more seconds. Of I know what I'm like. <laughs> so, in the little interim, there we had a couple of performances from the artists that unfortunately didn't join us tonight. Um, but again, thank, thanks to all of you guys for staying on as well and for supporting everybody else and being so positive um, and kind, which we always value. I'm moving into part two now, um, the last part of tonight's showcase. Uh, and we're gonna be kicking off with some alternative hip hop, R&B, rap, rock sounds. I love the melting pots I'm hearing tonight as well. There's just so much going on in all of your sounds. Uh, so eclectic and exciting. And this is the sounds of Chiyu. Have we got Chiyu around? Not yet, maybe. Maybe we'll I think not, not, not at all, I think. Not at all? Okay. Not. I'm not sure we have Michael Ark either. Oh, no. I don't think we do have Michael Ark because he's very recognisable. Um, but I'm but gonna... I'm sure we might have MC Giza. Yeah, okay, wicked. All right, cool. All right, we're moving on now to some baseline and hip hop from a heavyweight MC this is MC Giza. Hi everyone, it's MC Giza here. I'm from South East London and I've been um, working for Death Ray for a long time. 
and then I released my first EP, which was hip hop. I'm working on my second EP at the moment, which is more kind of like a trap uh, baseline music. And I think I've, um, as a deaf rapper and music producer, um, I have the ability to showcase that deaf people can do any music and, and perform on stage without, you know, fear and barriers. So I think the programme will benefit me to, um, to create more ideas better mood it um yeah nice one i was having a look for your sound clouds and you were getting me ready for the rave some of those baseline tunes are just a little bit too noisy. <laughs> all right let's get into it this is the sounds of mc giza <laughs> come to play I don't know about anyone else but um that just got me ready for June 21st I could not be any more ready now <laughs> I'm sweating <laughs> thank you very much MC Giza absolutely smashed it little baseline UK funky business going on big up it's a bit sick um all right next up I believe now I said it uh, too early earlier but I think now we have actually got the jazz Afro, Afrobeat drill hip-hop and lo-fi amalgamation from AZ Have we? No. As in AZ is not here or as in AZ is not on yet? You're on mute. Dre. As in AZ is not here, I think. Oh, no. It's, it's bad from the perspective of AZ missing out, but it's good from the perspective of finishing on time. So okay. it is what it is. Um, All right. Okay, cool. So have we got Kia in the play? 
Hi. Kia, we have got Kia. All right. So uh, let me give you a little bit of an introduction. So next up, we haven't got AZ, but we have got the beautiful ambient experimental and audiovisual sounds slash work slash creative amalgamation from Kia. <laughs> Um, shall please. I? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, please sorry. Please, okay. Please, sorry. Um, so, hi. Thank you. That was a very nice introduction. I appreciate it. Um, I'm Kia at Kia Today. I'm an audiovisual artist interested in the crossover between contemporary art and music. I produce predominantly sample based experimental ambient electronic audio work, um, which is eclectic in its musical influences, largely affected by my creative. Caribbean English upbringing. I'm also expanding and exploring my visual practice, drawing, drawing on original and found footage, reflecting on themes such as identity, race, queerness, mental health, technology, and nature. Being a queer identifying person of color, following my personal mental health journey, and with the additional barrier of coronavirus, <laughs> Um, I feel this is the perfect opportunity to provide friendly, supportive, like-minded networking, collaboration, performance and career progression for me. And lastly, I just want to say that I'm really grateful for your time and thank you. And I wish everyone all well and to, to take care during this particularly difficult time. Thank you, Kia. Um, really, really looking forward to seeing your work taken to the stage. It is Kia.
Thank you, Claire. Ooh, ooh. Beautifully interesting visuals. And I love that use of, of clubby, like ravey electronic music in there as well. That was sick. Thank you, Kia. All right, next up, we are moving into the R&B soul pop space with the sound of Dan Amore. Hey guys, hey, can you hey. hear me? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, so my name is Dan Amare. I'm a singer, songwriter and producer. Um, I'm someone who's um, fully self-managed, independent, um, and also a bit of a one-man band. So the song that I'm gonna share with you, I've produced, written, mixed, mastered, edited the video for and everything. Um, and yeah, the reason for me showing an interest in the course is one, the opportunity to perform at Campbell Welfare, which I think would be amazing. Um, and then also being, you know, I grew up homeschooled, for example, I've always kind of been a one man band. So for me, it's such a nice experience to be able to collaborate with people who have that field experience and also just collaborating with people and getting their influence and perspective into what I do. Um, Cause like I said, I've, I've just always done everything myself. So yeah, my this is this is one song. It's R and B, but my stuff is very, very. This is my first release though, so I thought I'd share this one. So yeah, this is the chase. Amazing! Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, let's hear. Till your bait, place your wager, I'ma take her. I ain't playing. I'm talking about the chase. Listen here, may I tell you what I'm gonna do? Inside, under, asunder you. But I'ma stop, I don't wanna encourage you. Let's do like lovers do. Let's ride it out, ayy, let's ride it out. Uh, as great as the chase is, I don't wanna wake up. I'm talking about the chase. I'm talking about the chase.
thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Send me back to the 90s real quick. What a voice. Oh, wow. wow, thank you, Dan. That was gorgeous. So thank sultry. You. Well, that <laughs> was you. the beautiful, beautiful vocals of Dan Amore. Okay, cool. So we are moving on now to some more experimental, ambient, multidisciplinary sound art fused with traditional Irish sounds from Torre Watson. Hi, uh, can you all hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'm Tori and I am a sound artist and Irish traditional musician and I moved to London to study fine art and that's where I was introduced to sound art um, and I started making like I realised I could kind of combine both my artistic practice with my music um, which was something I hadn't fully considered before and that's when I started making like experimental soundscapes and installations which led on to learning how to produce and um, I want to be involved in this program uh, for a few main reasons. One being to um, learn, of, uh, sorry, network with other emerging musicians. I'd really love to be like more involved in the music scene in London because up until now my work has mostly kind of existed in maybe a more visual art setting. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really keen to network with other people and collaborate, talk about ideas and skill share. That's something that's really exciting for me and um, from the mentor and I think it's really important to have um, people there to kind of like critique your work as well to help and push it to that next stage and I'm also really uh, curious to get maybe a bit of an insight to how their careers have evolved and their journey so far because I think that's just always like such useful beneficial information to know especially if you get it firsthand um, and yeah, the opportunity to perform at Canberra Welfare would be amazing and um, can't put into words. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just mainly aim to grow in confidence through this and develop professionally and get to know more people that are kind of doing what I do. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my video. And it's been really amazing watching everybody else's work. Thank you so much. Um, it's been an honor to be involved in this evening. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Tori. Thank you as well for your words. No problem. <laughs> Handing it over now to Tori Watson. I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction into one of the ways that I work. Um, and this is my little bedroom set up. <laughs> and with this piece, the element that I started with was this piano instrument. <laughs> I'll tend to just start picking out some other like instruments and drums and piecing things together. To I'll normally do that, I'll do a couple of different variations of the little like chord progression and the same with the beat and the other instruments. Once I have done that I will get my flute and just start improvising. recordings that I'm going to use for this track is some birds and a river that I recorded in the first lockdown when I was at home at my dad's house. Just add some EQ compression and reverb again for now and then see how that's sounding. And I've also got just some words where I've added a one bar phrase um, kind of loop effect chromatic vocoder. So let's hear. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> What a wonderful process to witness, Tori. That was, I was like, what instrument is she going to bring out next? That was so fascinating. Uh, I really love that approach as well to the field recordings and kind of getting these snippets of nature. That was such a beautiful soundscape. Thank you, Tori Watson. All right, and now we are going into some pop and ambient sounds now from Tamalka. We got Tamalka? Hi. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me and yeah, everyone. So amazing and talented. It's been so cool to hear and watch everyone. A singer. Um, and I'm early in my career. Um, this year I've started releasing my own music. And I really just want to improve myself as an artist. Um, I've been learning how to use like visuals and blending that with my music as well. And be part of this program and learn some wisdom from the mentors and create some beautiful music together so thanks losing you just a little bit to Malka but I think we got you um sweet amazing right to Malka good luck did it go a bit funny it's just a little bit but it's all good we can hear you <laughs>
That was yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah, that wow, was amazing. Wow. Grabbing visuals. That was absolutely, yeah, it was beautiful. Wow. Thank you, Tamaka. What a piece of work. Tamaka. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. All right. And we are gearing up towards the end now of part two. And next up, we have got the alt pop soul and neo soul vibes from Adam A. Hello. <laughs> um, thank you for that. Everyone's been awesome tonight. Um, hi, my name is Adonai. I'm a singer songwriter from South London, and I'm really excited to be here and so grateful for the opportunity. So a bit about me, and I'll, I know I'll be quick because I know we're wrapping up. Um, although I describe my style as alt pop and soul, my core musical inspirations float between 70s funk, 80s pop, and 90s R&B. Growing up, my family surrounded me with Caribbean folk music, and at nine years old, I joined my first gospel choir. This combo began my love of vocal arranging and songwriting. But the focus for me has always been storytelling. My artistic work outside of music focuses on identity, belonging, and narrative. Um, as part of my architecture master's de degree at the minute, I'm directing, writing, and producing a film called Black on Stage. As a young queer black woman, often these artistic questions of belonging have become ways of exploring myself. Something I would love to do within this space is find ways of tapping into my roots and who I am through telling stories that people relate to. Um, in 2018, I released my first EP called Her Favourite Song, which gave, gave me the support from the likes of BBC Introducing, Fresh From The Net and So Far Sounds. Since then, I've released singles, performed live on BBC Introducing The South, headlined So Far Sound gigs and played festivals such as Cross The Tracks and Cheltenham Jazz Festival, um, all with my incredible five-piece band. Since the pandemic, however, my focus has shifted. Um, after losing my grandmother, I felt the need to hone my skills and connect with my roots. Over the last year, I focused on songwriting and well, with other artists and four other artists. One song that I recently co-wrote actually peaked at number two in the Belgium iTunes charts and number one in the Belgium dance charts, which is kind of crazy, um, but taught me that if I actually put my mind to it, great things can happen. Mm -hmm. In September last year, I taught myself logic and I've started making demos to explore my own sound. So tonight I wanted to showcase, I guess, my potential um, through a light, fun uh, song. So the video that I've made for you, you guys today, I've arranged, written, produced, and of course, performed myself. I think this program would be a beautiful space for me to explore my music and sound and meet other incredible people like you guys. Throughout my solo career, there's one thing that I've not had, and that's guidance. Not just career advice or business planning, but people to help me develop my sound as an artist. I know that working with any of these incredible artists could change that course of my career. So I'm really excited for the opportunity. Thank you so much for your time. Um, and this is Lost It All. Nice. Please give it up for Adonai. Ooh, don't say it's true. Say it's All true. my life to get this right. Now I'm losing to you. What do I do? I didn't know how much I had to win until I lost it all. All to you.
Thank you. Yeah. That was wild. Harmonizing though, I love that multi-layering approach. That was absolutely Thank wicked. Cheers. Thank you. That was so much fun. Or funky, funky, soulful vibes there from Adene. Amazing. All right, now we are on to our penultimate artist of tonight's Camera Welfare Artist in Residence program. And next up, it is contemporary soul hip hop meets rap from Rosa. Hi, can you guys hear me? We can. Hi, um, I'm Rosa and uh, I'm a singer, harpist, producer and uh, composer. Um, I come from a classical background, so I started playing harp when I was about eight. And, um, and then I got into writing music and um, started writing uh, songs and writing film scores. Um, I just graduated uni doing a degree in writing film scores. And um, while I was there, I met uh, an amazing hip hop collective and um, started collaborating with them, which was really cool because the music they were making, I'd never really been involved with before. And it started getting me really excited about pushing the boundaries of what I could do with uh, with my voice and with my heart, um, layering and like mixing those genres. And so then I started experimenting with um, pedals which was something I hadn't really been able to see anyone else do with the instrument. So I started um, just messing about with the sound and seeing how I could change it and uh, get the sound that, that I wanted to make. Um, and yeah, so that was all quite recently. I start, I released my first couple of singles um, at the beginning of 2020. And um, then I've got three more coming out this year and my first couple of gigs lined up which I'm really excited about. Um, so I haven't had loads of opportunity with the pandemic to kind of go out and gig. I've always gigged as a, as a harpist or I've been on other people's uh, gigs, but I've never managed to do my own show. So having my own couple of shows coming up is like really exciting for me. And um, I just would love uh, to have some mentoring to um, just really expand that and like grow my voice and what I'm trying to say and so um, yeah it'd be a really cool opportunity so um, I've got a, a video that's um, quite minimal but uh, yeah thank you thank you Rosa sirens are an for ringing alarm they don't blow that stuff off the charm of the city Feel my head ache through my teeth As I lie between the sheets Always busy Looks like I'll be sitting pretty Sorry for a while Had a little too much Didn't want to come down there's a gentle mist creeping in inside my head So pour me another cup and get back into bed I'm looking for those blue skies That sunshine in your smile The way you close your eyes when we feeling okay I'm looking for those blue skies sunshine in your smile the way you close your eyes cause we feeling okay in this musty room misty eyes peek through a nasty blind can't see through the looking glass can't seem to unwind had too much coffee all gone foggy the city's a gray salt so smoggy today Looks like I'll be sitting pretty Sorry for a while Had a little too much Didn't want to come down There's a gentle mist creeping In inside my head So pour me another cup And get back into bed I'm looking for those blue skies There's sunshine in your smile The way you close your eyes Cause we feeling okay I'm looking for those blue skies 
looking for those blue skies the sunshine in your smile Thank you, Rosa. I think we can all agree the harp is like an instrument sent from heaven. Just can never sound bad. That was gorgeous. Thank you, Rosa. All right, we're on to our last artist of the night. Um, the standards tonight have just been absolutely ridiculous. You've all been incredible. And we're going to leave you all, last but not least, with music from Sage Nolan. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hi, uh, I'm Sage. Um, I haven't had that much experience with music. I just graduated during the pandemic um, of my music course. Um, I've done a couple of shows in um, Italy. Uh, I played a couple of festivals there. I'm mostly a studio bug. I just like to write and I'm just trying to get better at producing. So I hope that if I would um, be so lucky as to be able to have a mentor, I would just like to be able to share and write music with another person. I just think that would be really nice. And that's it, really. Thank you. Cool. Oh, also, I just want to say, I thought I misunderstood the assignment, but it was fine because another person did a video like this. So it's not a performance. It's just me like explaining my process of like how I write songs and that's it. OK. All good. Hi, I'm Sage. I couldn't find any of the, the projects for the bars I sent in. Uh, so we're just going to make something new and just kind of show my process. It's not going to be like mixed or like tuned perfectly, but this is just how I work. So we'll start with piano. So I'll go do that now. OK, so we start this song off on the piano um, and I want to write two sections. So the first section is... And then I'll loop that in Ableton. And then I'll write a B section as well. So, oh no, not that. And then resolve it back to the first section. And I got that idea just from the bass line. So once I've decided on like the piano parts, I do the arrangement first, so like the structure of the song in Ableton. And so I've got intro, and then you've got verse piano and a pre-chorus bit, and then a chorus. And in the pre-chorus section, you can see here, I've put the new time signatures in because I, after I figured it out in the program. Um, and then afterwards, I put just like a pulse in, and this is like a heartbeat sound. I don't know if you can hear it if I play it. If I solo it and play it. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, and that's just like a mic in my throat. I'm just going boom, boom in, in my throat. Um, and I've recorded that, had that for a while. And I just put some padding on the strings. So I solo those. And I just try and make sure that they sounds, they don't go up together, they kind of go like that. Um, and then afterwards, I put some extra filler on, which is just some backing vocals most of the time. Um, and I use some panning on the backing vocals as well, just if I can find that. Just to, nope, that is EQ. There we go, there's the, there is the panning. And it just goes from side to side just to add some movement. Uh, running out of time. Okay, and then now I'll, I'll just record some vocals and then that's it. Really. That's the whole song.
Thank you, Sage. That was a really, actually, a really wonderfully insightful uh, insight into your process. I think that was a wicked way to approach the task actually and a lot of people agree getting a lot of love in the chat too thank you sage nolan what a great way to end tonight's incredible showcase um honestly you guys have all been truly truly incredible like seeing the diversity the range the support the different ways of approaching music of paying homage to your roots and this process and the self-discovery that's come through all of your music has been really really great to see and i'm honored to have been a part of this I'm going to hand over to Dre now to say a few words before we head into our decision making process. And I know it's not going to be easy for these guys. I'm really feeling for um, our judges, artists, and residents who've got to decide tonight because competition's tight, to say the least. Well, okay. So, firstly, I just want to say a massive thank you to Tash for being an amazing host. Um, yes, Tash, big up. Um, yeah. You just made everyone feel so comfortable. And uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, also, amazingly, this part two was supposed to finish at 9.05 and it's 9.04. So uh, yeah, with a little bit of help from a couple of no-shows, you've totally smashed the timing as well. So thank you, we're bang on time. Um, <clears throat> before we move, I'm gonna go with the artists in residence to another Zoom uh, to just talk a little bit, the panel, make some decisions. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanted to say a couple of things. Firstly, um, I feel so incredibly inspired and enthused and honoured and grateful um, and just happy that all of you have chosen to give your time and showcase your talent in this way. Like, I, I really, it, it, you know, almost makes me want to cry. I honestly feel like so blessed just how much talent we have in, you know, in London, in the area um, and how many of you have come through. And, you know, this isn't like you're the ones we chose to go through, but there's, you know, Lucy, are you still there, Lucy, by the way? Maybe not. Um, but yeah, Lucy, my colleague at uh, Earth Agency, we went through the um, submissions together because I didn't want to be the only one just like kind of saying, I yeah, am, no, I yeah. am here. So oh, you're here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hi, Lucy. Um, so yeah, Lucy's uh, uh, another agent at Earth mm -hmm. Agency. And I was like, we need to we need to do this together. I can't be the only one judging. But we, you know, we spent like hours and hours and hours. Hey, Lucy. Hello. My light on. <laughs> <laughs> um, we spent hours, didn't we, Lucy, like going through all the submissions. Yeah. Um, talking about it and you know there was a, a like a whole bunch you know we had over 60 submissions but there could have been at least like you know 15 more that we could have invited and felt really comfortable that they would be like of a level you know it was just the talent is is amazing so yeah uh do you want to say anything else Lisa? yeah i echo what you're saying the talent was really good and we spent a lot of time and it was a lot of fun for us as well and gave me a lot of hope for the future as well so that's great totally um, yeah, I wanted to say a couple more things like one is just a massive debt of gratitude to PRS for Music uh, Foundation who've made this program possible. Um, you know, we've been slowly, like I said, building a little bit um, over the last few years with our partnerships with the MIDI Music Company and School Ground Sound and um, Charlotte Discovers, aka Odd Motion, you know, who've been showcasing some artists on the main stage and on the Campbell stage and doing some events of bits of training and panels and stuff but we've never done anything like this this is a really new thing for us as well so I just feel so um gassed that it's you know that we've been just blessed with so much talent um so yeah thanks to PRS for making that possible um uh you know for us to bring on the amazing um artists and residents as well who are going to be working with you I, I can already see these incredible collaborations that can happen between some of the artists and residents and some of you guys so um I also want to say I'm really excited about our partnerships with um, Earth Agency and with First Word, big up to Ali watching on YouTube and big up to Naomi and uh, Lucy from Earth Agency who are in this Zoom. Because um, obviously, you know, a best case scenario is like some, one of you guys comes on the programme, you meet other artists, you make amazing music and then somehow you end up, you know, working with the Earth as an agency or working with First Word as a label or whatever. Of course, it's not like, you know, this is not, there's no guarantees of this stuff, but it's like whatever happens, your music has been seen by industry people and will continue to be seen by more industry people. So, yeah, it's just in an ideal world, it's like it's just kind of uh, it's, it's joining the dots, basically, um, and doing it with a real South London focus. So, yeah, enough from me. But I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's participated and to all of our partners and to PRS for funding it. Um, I am going to leave now. Um, and artists in residence, Shirley and uh, Geika and Kweku and um, Tawia, I'm going to send you on WhatsApp quickly a new Zoom link. So we'll go there. Um, Tash, you are now the host. 
Um, I think Tasha's going to play you guys a few videos of some of the artists in residence so you know a bit more about them. Um, yeah. Right, I'm off. See you later. See you in a bit. All right, now, yeah, we're going to watch some videos. Oh, no, yeah. From some of our from our artists in residence, from Tawia, from KOG, from Shirley Tete, and from Gaika. And honestly, these guys are an absolute honor for, to have on board this artist in residence. I think whoever's lucky enough to be mentored by these guys, it's going to be a real, real treat. Um, we're going to kick off with Tawia. This one from her is her 10A sessions. It's a long one, so we'll just do a little snippet. Let me share my screen first. That might help. Um, Everybody is half deal. Everybody avoids everybody. All over the place, in most situations, most all of the time. I know I'm one of those everybody. And to me, it is terrible. And so all I'm trying to do all the time is just to open people up so they can feel themselves and let themselves be open to somebody else. That is all. That's it. I've always thought that I was shaking people up, but now I want to go at it more, and I want to go at it more deliberately, and I want to go at it coldly. I want, I want to shake people up so bad that when they leave a nightclub where I performed, I, I just want them to be to pieces. I want to go in that, that den of those elegant people with their old ideas, smugness, and just drive them insane. When I'm calm and cool and really got uh, the antenna working, you know, you know when to push and you know when you know when to not. Nobody can tell you, though. You have to feel it. In any situation between human beings, it's what makes a groove. Well, what's free to you? That's what's what free to me? Yeah. Same thing it is to you. You tell me. No, no, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Because <laughs> I've been talking for it's such a long time. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. It's like, how do you tell somebody how it feels to be in love? How are you going to tell anybody who has not been in love how it feels to be in love? You cannot do it to save your life. You can describe things, but you can't tell them. But you know it when it happens. That's what I mean by free. I've had a couple of times on stage when I really felt free. And that's something else. That's so really <laughs> something else. Like all, all, like, like, I'll tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I, if I could have that. Four 
lost my mother late one night Oh no, what, what do they call me? My name's Sophronia Sophronia skin is tough oh, my hair is fine Ooh. my hips invite you Stunning. Wow. 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 That was Tawia. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, next up in our artist in residence, we're going to be listening to some KOG. Uh, and this one is open. Oh, no. Loading. Oh no, don't give me that. Just when it's my moment time. Hang on. <laughs> Two seconds. Okay. All right. They be sure I back here. Same thing every day. System A, you miss again. I don't know what to say. I say, let me sure I back here. Same thing every day. Open my eye, make a see what they go on. So, so skin pain in the play door. Me and them is about at the sea god. I got no more, you for the sea song. At the text, at the barn, at the ball off. So sad, see the water for my eye cup. No evidence, police, hands off, hands off. Two days are no job. No rest for the wicked with the need love. For the love of money, you get the bra. Oh, geez, with the hustle, with the light off. Or side the force vicious, we a mouse off. Make a free my mind, make a heat up. Oh, man, I'm looking in the mirror. My reflection expression is so tough that it's more my vibe than the pre up.
what they go on. Open my eye, make a see what they go on. Belly more belly man, no need ya, no ah. And that, what could you guys hear me? You can hear me. And that was KOG. I'm sure the video wrote itself, but that was KOG as part of Onipa and also as part of KOG and the Zongo Brigade and both of those bands. And, uh, and next up, we have, oh, let me move that out of the way. Uh, Where have I gone? Sorry. Two seconds, guys. Um, you didn't think I was the computer novice, didn't you? Um, and next up, we've got Shirley Tete. Let me just screen share with you guys again. Um, screen share. Cool. And we are sharing you, and hopefully that's all good. So this one is my show meeting Jake Long, Tim Doyle, Shirley Tete up at North Sea Jazz in 2019. <laughs>
levels, levels. That was Shirley Tete on guitar, absolutely shredding it. Okay, cool. And last but not least, we have got the sounds of Gaika, one of my favorite electronic music artists and an artist who consistently pushes the boundaries of multidisciplinary arts and music and visuals and everything in between. This one from him is Seven Chip. Bills from dawn to dusk. Red 
And that was Gaika. What an assault for the visuals, for the senses. Um, and that was your four incredibly talented residents. I think there's a really wonderfully broad range of mentors there. But how's everyone feeling? All right. All right, you can, can you unmute yourself? Have I, have I got to be in charge of unmuting people? Wait, um, hang on. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, I'm rubbish with Zoom stuff. Um, everyone feeling okay? Oh, we can chat in the group. We can chat over here, can't we? Um, what was everyone saying? Yeah, wicked energy, wicked aesthetic as well. Like, so it's just all of them. Um, the KOG on a video is so much fun. Those guys really make me want to be at a festival so badly. Um, and again, as I've said, thank you all for joining us tonight. Like, honestly, I I was looking for your submissions and writing down some notes over the past couple of days. And I was like, really, really excited about every single one of you. So whoever doesn't end up making it tonight for whatever reason, like do not be down, downtrodden or downhearted at all. You're honestly like full of talent and your future's bright, regardless of whatever happens. Like it was very, very driven. And some of the like innovation I've seen tonight is just, whew, I'm glad you're feeling good, Dan. I'm feeling good as well. And for anyone that hasn't been to Camel Welfare, by the way, it is sick. I um, I think I first went there like a few years, but maybe like 2016, 2017, and because uh, I knew Dre, and then I went down just as like a punter, and it's just always been so lovely. And then he invited me down to host. I did some hosting there, um, and it's just such a genuinely nice like community vibe in bang in the middle of Camberwell. And if like families come through, there's market stalls, there's food, and everyone's just like there for a vibe. And there's not like there's no trouble. It's just like supportive, like community sort of homegrown grassroots music, all of that. Um, so if any of you haven't been, hopefully go back on. Well, September maybe there might be something, but if not, then next year. Fingers crossed. I'm so ready for some kind of festival, some kind of fair, even if it's new. Let me see how Andre is getting on. Uh, anyone wants to speak by the way feel free to message in the chat and i can unmute you because i feel like i feel so powerful with this mute button <laughs> okay they're coming back now guys Ooh. Hey, hello you enjoying yourself Yep, yep, yep. I'm home now. Yeah. This guy has been amazing show. This guy is pure the, trouble, by the way. Just to <laughs> it's been the most amazing show. Everybody's been right? so good. Like, wow. I've enjoyed it so much. Like a mini gig, a mini festival. That's My headphones just bopping on the road and like and yeah, you've been top. amazing times. You sick. You smashed it. You smashed it. Thank you. Thank you, Quirky. Have you done anything like that? Thanks, <laughs> oh, hey. What's up, Tom? Yeah. How you doing? Sorry, yeah. I won't interrupt the session. No, no, I just no, want no. to say hi. Tom's also part Hey, Andre. Hi, Tom. That's Tom XL from uh, Nubian Twist and Onipa, two amazing okay. groups. Uh, yeah, got the whole gang inside. Love that. Uh, yo, so, Tash, do you want to um, ask everyone what... Um, who they've chosen. I'm sure the uh, emerging artists are excited to find out. Yeah, okay, I do, I do. Okay, I'm just, I feel like I'm as nervous as everybody else. Okay, who should we kick off with? Anyone? Any particular order? You choose. Okay, let's kick off with Tawia. Can we please have your choice? In fact, let me put you on the main screen. Yes, yes. Yo. Everybody, listen. Go. The conversation, let me let you know, it was very difficult, yeah? <laughs> we were like, it was so hard. Everyone, all, all of the vibes that you guys brought were awesome. Um, I am super excited to get in a room with a day. Sage hey. Nolan and Tamolka. Woo! <laughs> well done you're gonna be teaming up with Tawia. oh that's so exciting thank you awesome. <laughs> that's so exciting all right and Gaika, can i hear your choices please yeah uh i chose adonai 
um, Tere and Kia. Woo! I think, it was, as I said, or as we said before, it's really, of course. really hard. The standard was so high, and I just kind of felt like the people I chose to work with, I think I could kind of offer the most um, based on what my skill set is and what, what and my world. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So Adonai, Tore, and who was your last choice? Sorry, Kia. Kia Grant, Kia. Kia Grant. Well done, guys. You're going to be working with Guy Carl on the ski. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Shirley. Who have you chosen to be on your team? I've chosen uh, Lewis Daniel, Winnie, and uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> um, uh, I've chosen Lewis Daniel, Winnie, and Dana Mare. And I'm sorry if I uh, pronounce your uh, artist name wrong. I've um, um, again a little bit ill so like I've been here you know um, so, you know slightly different world but I, um, I'm yeah super excited to be I got it right okay great um, yeah very excited to be working with um, all three of you um, for, uh, for for Lewis um, uh, I know Lewis I've um, uh, heard him play I've seen him about with kind of moving a lot of similar circles and we're both instrumentalists so that makes sense to me Winnie doing the guitar and singing thing it makes sense to me. Um, I always get excited when I see that. Um, and for Dan Amare, um, you've got this very particular quality to your vocal um, that I was kind of just, um, just like really uh, fascinated by, and just thinking, oh wow, um, that, that's 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 an amazing thing. So yeah, those are, those are the reasons why. Um, so yeah, yeah, very excited. Wonderful choices. Thank you, Shirley. Well done, Lewis. Well done, Winnie. And well done, Dan. All right. And uh, last but not least, we're going to hear selections from KOG. Who are yeah, you? yeah. Yeah, guys. Like, honestly, it's the standard and the singing and production and performance and Everything has been amazing. I'm just wild and humbled that you guys have let us into your space to actually show us what, and I know how hard this has been and it's been so hard to even pick anybody, but like, yeah, I went for T Peters cause like, yeah, I love, I love the energy. First of all, I deal with energy and I love that kind of energy and, you know, literature using words and rhythms and in this age and what he stands for what his personality and what he's achieved being so young and you know it's not just the talent alone but what is outside the talent also helps shape your career so I'm up for TP is bad honey wicked women young women I'm always about that I'm a mommy's boy and I always love to see women just pushing because for so long, like we all know, yeah, who runs the world? <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I love the whole touch of the whole new experience of different cultures and different sounds and their tones. I'm really, really grateful for them blessing us with that. And then Rosa, that hop, whoa, yeah, that hop. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for traditional instrument and classical instrument, even though I'm from the ghettos of Africa. I used to sit outside the windows and listen to bat and listen to classical music and it kind of shaped my music as well. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing what, yeah, how I can help with. Yeah. And so, yeah, these three are really, really my choice. But apart from that, everybody did so well and hopefully in the future, yeah, we'll all meet. Thank you, KOG. Uh, out to T. Peters, Bad Honey, and to Rosa. Well done. Um, I would just like to jump in and say that, like, partly because there was a handful of no-shows, that actually there's only been a handful of people who've, like, not been picked. And I feel so bad how that must feel for those people. But I just want to say that, like, um, I feel like any single one, of, you know, out to, like, Nina Gabriella, out to MC Giza, out to Egan, um, like any of you guys would have benefited from 
the program um definitely any of you guys could have worked with some of those artists and in the end the people made their choices um if i've forgotten anyone else um I, like i feel like people made their choices just based on who they personally kind of on thundizzle as well respect like i think just to people who they, they for whatever reason they felt they could contribute the most um just whatever just please 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 don't take this as like a judgment on your talent or your potential you know um like we've all seen what you guys can do everyone watching on youtube has seen it there's industry people who've seen it so please just don't be disheartened that's all i really want to say to anyone who's not been chosen I couldn't agree more, Dre, honestly. Like I just said to everyone, just to reassure everybody, and I know it's difficult in these kind of selection processes, but yeah, the levels of talent were just ridiculous. And like the amount that you guys have put out already and you're just starting out for a lot of you, like the world is honestly like your oyster. Um, so well done for everyone for taking part. Thank you to Dre for putting this together. Thank you to Campbell Fair and everybody involved. Thank you to our sponsors as well. And thank you to our artists and residents, to Sawia, to Gaika, to Shirley Tete and to KOG as well, and to Midi Music Company, to First Word Records, Earth Agency, School Ground Sounds, and everybody else that was involved in making this happen tonight. And yeah, honestly, Dre, thank you so much for putting this together. Like schemes like these are so important um, to just keep on nurturing up and coming local talent, as we said, especially amongst like an ever-changing, you know, city and world and, and our streets ever, you know, kind of being pushed out more and more sometimes. So it's important to, to remember homegrown talent and remember what we've got around us. So thank you. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Tash. You've been the most amazing host. Big up once again, Tash LC. Um, I also want to say, like, uh, this has been put together not just by me, but also um, our amazing um, production manager, Sarah Taylor, and our head of comms, um, Ranjit Atwal, who are both on the call as well. Um, a final word is Ranjit's just going to jump in and say a couple of things about socials and social media. But um, for me, I just want to say once again, thank you so much to everyone involved and for everyone coming through. You've been in incredible. Honestly, you have. I'm very emotional. That was great. Thanks, Andre, for giving me the final word. Um, it feels not apt enough to just say, you know, keep supporting us. Go over to the website, campbellwellfare.co.uk. We'll be making announcements of what we're doing later this year. Follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Campbell Welfare. And today's, this evening has just been amazing. So keep doing what you're doing. And the more people that can support us and help, you know, the more funding we can get. And next year, hopefully we can bring the program back and it can be really even bigger and even better. But um, honestly, if this is the future of live music, it was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Sarah Taylor, you got a word for us as well? Thanks so much, guys. I've been uh, quietly sitting here while my baby screams in the other room. So apologies for not showing my face earlier. But even through that god awful sound, um, your music shone through. It was an absolute honour to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, whichever way it fell for you this evening, I hope we will see you very soon in person on Camberwell Green or other sites around London. Thank you so much. Yeah. And to anyone watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Uh, the final event, uh, uh, we are not running a full Campbell Fair this year because of COVID and everything, but we are going to be running an event on 4th of September, um, which is our usual date, which is going to be a kind of special, um, slightly smaller event than the normal fair, but it's going to be specially kind of showcasing this program. It's basically it's still going to be a live event on Campbell Green on the 4th of September. So um, everyone in this program will be performing live, hopefully, and... Um, yeah, please do come down, keep in touch. Um, yeah, thanks so much. Thank you guys, you're all amazing. And we've got everybody's, some people have dropped their socials in the chat over here. So if you wanna grab everybody's social media, give them a follow, big, big each other up online and all of that. Um, yeah, there's some socials in the group chat. Okay. Lovely, all right. Thank you everybody. I'll Thank leave you. it in a sec and I won't end it just Bye. let everybody grab everyone's socials first. You know. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so <laughs>